Okay, I think it's time for another challenge. Okay, this is going to be your next homework assignment. And uh, you can see that I've installed our little LED on there. By the way, these two wires here, they're, they're just holding it down so that it doesn't uh, drift away. So it makes it easy to hold down while I'm actually showing you. And I've just moved the motors over to the side here as opposed to having them laying across. So I've connected the light. Uh, you can connect it anywhere you want. I connected it pins 10, 11, and 12, kind of like we did uh, when we first started playing with it. And I'm going to start this piece of code. And your job will be to write code that does something like this. So here we go. And you can see it's doing nothing. And this is exactly what I wanted it to do because you can probably guess I want you to make it so it starts when you do Control Shift M. It's counting down five seconds. And it's spinning both motors clockwise, counterclockwise. They stop, counts down five seconds. Both motors go. Both motors reverse directions. Okay. And I will show you this. I wrote this little piece here because I want to stop it. And we'll get into how to actually make it run once here probably very shortly. And I'm going to stop it. Okay, so my motors have stopped. And uh, I want you to do is I want you to build this on your own and uh, see if you can get it to work. And I'm going to pause it and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, well you better have paused and you better have figured out how to do this. Or if you haven't succeeded, uh, that's okay. I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, and it's not too late to pause now and do it yourself because I really don't want you skipping ahead. But here we go. This is how I did it. All right, I'm gonna drag my code up here. Um, we put a light on here, okay? So the very first thing that I did, and you can see it here, is I created three more of those constants. Red, uh, green, and blue, 12, 11, and 10, okay? By no surprise, I also then set the direction of those three new pins to output, okay? So I have a pin mode red output, green output, blue output. And I'm hoping you guys are getting used to this. I started a serial window and I stuck it in that loop, okay? Then until you open the window, until you hit control, uh, what is it, control shift M or go up here to the uh, tools and open up the serial window, it's stuck. Once the window is open, I gave it a real short delay, 500 milliseconds, just to make sure that I can adjust my eyes or whatever. You don't have to, but I think it's a good idea. And this didn't change. These are all the same routines we were calling upon. Okay, so now here we are at the main part, the loop. Very first thing it did, it's counting down to five seconds. Okay, I hope you guys remember how to do that for loop. I created an integer. X, I set it equal to 5. And I want to go to X is greater than 0. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It greater than 0. Okay. It counts down 1. And I hope you guys are getting used to this. The digital right. I turned my light. Uh, oh, look at that. I've got that. Remember, I had that issue with this silly one here. These wires are flipped. So it was flashing blue, I think, instead of red. Um, it flashes the light on for half a second. It flashes it off for half a second. So it just counts down for a total of five seconds. Then it puts out the new line. It's going to turn clockwise. And it calls upon the right and left clockwise subroutines, which are the same ones we've did before. And it does the same countdown again. Okay, so it flashes the light red and green, I'm sorry, green, while it's rotating. 
this is going to stay, I should say, you know, once you set these pins high and you tell it the direction, it's going to stay there until you tell it otherwise. It's going to lock in. So I could do something else while it's just stuck. Okay. And then we jump down to this uh, serial print line. We're going to tell it to go counterclockwise. I decided to briefly stop it. You probably didn't even see that. I don't know if you need to. I stopped it delayed 100 milliseconds um, and then I started it up again going counterclockwise I then uh, did the same thing here I created my integer X I set it equal to 5 we're gonna go from 5 to greater than 0 in other words 5 to 1 decrementing 1 every single time and we're gonna flash the light on and off at 500 millisecond intervals I then stopped it, put a short delay, probably can't even see it, and it loops back up to the beginning. So let's load it up, and see if it did it. Okay, it flashes the light. Oh, no it doesn't, it's waiting for me. Here we go, open up the window, four, five, Turn on the motors. Three, four, five. Switch directions. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And then it stops and it sits there and waits. Then it counts down. All right. So hopefully you can do something like this on your own. And um, I think we're going to probably play with this basic circuit one or two more times and then we're going to actually put together a robot chassis so we're getting close i will see you guys soon